Hi everyone, it's me Wei Chiang here. Um, today I am going to discuss a question that requires the use of uh, guess and check as a method of solving it. Of course, there is the other method that uh, many people also prefer and that is the supposition method. Well, not one method is better than the other. It really depends on the ability of the child. Uh, personally, I prefer this guess and check method because uh, the children actually get to see the relationship between the two variables, uh, especially like say if I make a change to one variable, how will it affect the other? Alright, so let's discuss that through this question. Alright, 30 children attended a party. Each boy ate 4 cookies and each girl ate 5 cookies. Alright, the girls ate 33 more cookies than boys. How many girls attended the party? Now typically, uh, what I always tell the students to do is, okay, uh, there are boys and there are girls, right? And there's a total of 30. So we need to find out how many girls, we also need to know how many boys. So why not we start by the drawing the table by girls and boys. Because there's more than one way to draw the table. Okay, uh, girls, if I have, and then I have 30 children, so why not we split them half half. So we have 15 boys, 15 girls and 15 boys. 15 girls would have a, would eat a total of uh, 75 cookies. Whereas 15 boys would eat a total of 60 cookies. And then the difference in the number of cookies that they ate is actually 15. Now, uh, 15 cookies is the difference, but we want 33 because we want to find out that the, the condition given is that the girls ate 33 more cookies than the boys. In order for that to happen, students usually will know that we need to reduce the number of boys. So because it's each boy only ate 4 and increase the number of girls since each girl ate 5. So we do that by trying number 16. 16 girls will eat a total of 80. 14 boys will eat a total of 56. The final difference is 24. Then the student realizes, oh, okay, when I drop, when I decrease the number of boys and I increase the number of girls, the difference in the cookies eaten actually increase. Uh, why not I try one more? Okay, so I try 17 and 13. 17 girls ate 85 cookies and uh, 13 boys ate 52 cookies. And then the difference becomes 33. So that's the answer that they get. The, the, the difference, the girls ate 33 more cookies than the boys. And therefore, the number of girls who had entered the party is 17. So as I mentioned before, uh, there is no uh, right or wrong way to solve this question. Okay, uh, Whether or not you use, choose to let your child use the supposition method or you encourage your child to use the guess and check method, either is fine as long as the child understands what they are doing. Okay. Uh, for the guess and check method like this, one of the benefits is that yes, uh, they get to see the pattern and they get to see the how one variable changes and it will affect another. Uh, but of course, it's a little bit more time consuming, so it all depends. Uh, for children who are much faster and they understand the supposition method, then of course, by all means, go ahead. They'll save a lot of time if they do that. But having said that, it doesn't mean that this method is slow either. If they are pretty fast and pretty well versed at it with sufficient practice, they can do it just as fast. So there we have it, uh, a short discussion on a question that requires the use of the uh, guess and check method or the supposition method. And uh, with that, I wish all of you a good weekend ahead after tomorrow, Friday. And then, yes, I hope to look forward to making another video next week. In the meantime, take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.